Hi, this is Shelly Hitz from trainingauthors.com, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a free project management tool called Asana. You can find it at asana.com. Now, it's free to sign up, and what I love about this tool is you can collaborate projects with other people. So, if you're working on a book with someone else, you can collaborate with different people within a project, but you can also simply set deadlines for yourself. And so it's a great way to get things done. I'm currently using this with my monthly coaching clients to help them see progress, and to provide some accountability so I can see what progress they're making. So this is a test account, a dummy account, that I wanted to just set up and show you how it works. So right now you can see I have one project set up and it's just called test. You can see up here test and you can you know, um, invite different people and there's all kinds of settings here. You can also just invite people by this tab here. And what I normally do is just put that person's email address and click invite. Then they'll get an email to join this project. And what you can do then, and for me personally, when I, Heather and I have used this to work on book projects, but I also am using it for my coaching clients. So what you can do then is within this workspace Space. So test is the workspace. I can create new projects. So let's say I want to create a project called um, just book cover. And this is going to be all the things that I want to get done for my book cover. Then I can put different tasks in here. So I can say brainstorm book titles, you know, because that's something I'm going to have to do and so forth. So you can just do all kinds of things. If you want to rearrange things, like if I want to do the book cover concept first, I can just um, drag and drop that in there. And then what I can do is I can assign this to certain people. So you just click here to assign the task and I could just assign it to me. And then what you can do is you can set up a date. So on this, you can see here, you can have a due date. So right now, I could say I want that due date in two weeks, and it's assigned to me. And so I have, you know, um, I will receive email updates and reminders about this, and then I can come in here and say, you know, when I have finished it. And I realized I misspelled that. <laughs> Um, but you can assign and set dates. So I love this because then you have a deadline and you can see on here when there are dates and when there are not. You can also add um, a description in here. You can add text here. But then you can also, down below, you can comment. So if you're working as a team, instead of sending emails back and forth, you can just write comments, say, I love the hot air balloon idea we said something back and forth and you can comment and so that way you're commenting back and forth it's all managed within one workspace instead of getting emails lost not sure what you're doing you can also create different tasks underneath that so i mean you can you know say you know task 1 task 2 and you can also set deadlines for those tasks if for those subtasks so you know you can have different deadlines for those as well. But how I use this is when I set it up, like when Heather and I set up our book, um, you know, set it up for our book, How to Get Honest Reviews, we first had a brainstorming session using a mind map. And on the mind map, we outlined the book, we outlined, you know, the dates that we wanted to have things finished, and then I came in here to Asana and inserted the different things, the due dates, who it was assigned to, like if it was a section that Heather was supposed to finish, I assigned it to her and a due date if it was for me. And then um, we both can come in here then and we could say that is done. And you know, you can mark off things that are that are done. Or you know, like I said with the subtasks, you can come in here and mark those off and then finally mark everything as done. With my coaching clients, what we do is we also have a brainstorming session and we mind map out their goals. And I help them to set up what I think is the, the biggest priority, how to really accomplish 
their goal and what they want to do. And then, I, you know, I come in here and set this up in our workspace and then they, you know, I sign it to them and then they come in and I can see and it's accountability to see the progress that they're making from month to month. So I hope that this is helpful to you. I hope that you go in, check out this, um, this site is Asana, A-S-A-N-A dot com. This is a great place to outline your book, uh, have accountability partners come in. If you're trying to get your book written, you know, ask an accountability partner to come in to your workspace on Asana so that they can keep you accountable or to just plan out your projects. Maybe you're planning out a book launch, you're planning out a special promotion and um, so forth. So this is Shelly Hitz from trainingauthors.com showing you how to manage your projects using Asana.